Well, you'll note some in lefty uh, TV news, mainstream media here in the UK have sort of glossed over the fact that off the back of Marine Le Pen, uh, her party surging to the largest number of seats they've ever held in France. You then had in Sweden, uh, the Sweden Democrats become the largest right-wing party. And of course, you then had uh, Georgia Maloney uh, lead her party to a pretty spectacular election victory in Italy. But in terms of what is going on in Sweden, and do let me know if you've seen any coverage of this whatsoever uh, in terms of mainstream media here in the UK. You see here that you've now got this new government forming. It's a minority government deal backed by the Sweden Democrats. So you've got a picture there of Jimmy Ackerson of the Sweden Democrats, Ulf Christensen of the Moderate Party, Ebba Bush of the Christian Democrats, and Johan Pearson of the Liberals. They've had a press conference announcing that the Sweden Democrats will not be part of the government, but will support it, giving it direct influence on policy. So Christensen telling reporters the government's mandate from voters meant that change is not only necessary, change is also possible, and putting the four parties together can offer that change. Jimmy Ackerson, the leader of the Sweden Democrats there, same for us in the Sweden Democrats, a change of power also has to mean a paradigm shift regarding immigration and integration policy. So the new Prime Minister will be Ulf Christensen, as I said, with three, a three-party government also backed by the Sweden Democrats. Now, in terms of the government's plan, and, and let me know if you think this is far right or hard right or whatever. I mean, for goodness sake, some of the media now are even calling Liz Truss hard right. But you see here the new government plan, an agreement for Sweden, influenced, of course, by that strong Sweden Democrat showing in the election, includes punishments for serious and organised crime to be increased, more nuclear power stations, uh, social security payments to those made redundant will not be cut, that the number of asylum seekers Sweden will accept will be cut to the EU minimum, and a previous goal to allot 1% of gross national income to international aid is set to be scrapped. So let me know in the comments below if you think that is common sense, or is it hard right? Uh, let me know your thoughts on this in the comments below, guys, but it does show you in Sweden, and I suspect we're going to see the same in Italy. European politics is changing very quickly. Eurosceptic parties are increasing their support and indeed winning elections. As ever, guys, do whack this video a quick thumbs up. Do check out my newsletter. I'll put a link to that down below. And of course, as ever, cheers for watching.